And now, First Warn 5 weather with meteorologist Andrew Chung. Welcome back, everyone. Much cooler weather on the way, and honestly, this cold front is entering the valley faster than we'd expected. The temperatures are already in the 60s out west in Rio Grande City, and if you're heading to the McAllen Holiday Parade this evening, if you haven't stepped in the door yet, please take the rain gear with you as well as the sweater or jacket because those temperatures will continue to fall this evening in McAllen as the front blows on by. Here's that planner forecast for this evening for the parade in McAllen. 73 degrees at 7 p.m. We should start off dry, but have the rain gear handy because at 8 p.m. there's a better chance of some showers and some thunderstorms and also a good chance of some showers and thunderstorms at 10 p.m. as well as after the parade. 68 degrees the temperature at 8 p.m. We're down to 65 at 10 p.m. and it will be breezy as well. Here's a radar right now quiet from most of the valley, but look out west. We are seeing a good batch of showers and thunderstorms approaching Zapata. Not too bad right now in McAllen, but that will change as we go into the early and mid evening hours. And look at the difference in the temperatures behind the front. 66 degrees in Rio Grande City, 73 in McAllen, 70 in Edinburgh. Out east, we're in the upper 70s in Harlingen and Brownsville, still in the 80s in Raymondville. We won't be in the 80s for tomorrow, though. Winds right now out of the south in Brownsville, an early shift ahead of the front in McAllen out of the north at 20 miles now gusting to 25. Westaco winds are out of the south at 8 miles an hour. So your evening planning uh, forecast elsewhere. Temperatures are in the upper 60s at 9 p.m. with a good chance of showers and thunderstorms right around 67 degrees at 11 o'clock tonight. Also with a good chance of some showers and thunderstorms. So there's the front stalled out over the upper valley. We're seeing a lot of showers and thunderstorms today for the eastern portion of Texas and southwest Louisiana. We also have this big upper level low pressure system spinning over northwest Mexico. That is fueling the energy for the showers and thunderstorms. And because this upper low stays west of us for tonight and tomorrow, we keep the clouds in the forecast here in the valley and have the umbrellas handy again for tomorrow because a good chance of rain will continue. By the way, for this evening, there is a slight possibility a few thunderstorms here in the valley could be on the strong side. Now for tomorrow, the high temperature should be reached in the morning of 62. So behind that, as we get into the afternoon, those temperatures will fall into the upper 50s by tomorrow afternoon. So bundle up for tomorrow. It is going to be chilly and wet for your Sunday. On future track, the front continues to move through the mid valley, maybe getting the lower valley by midnight. There is a possibility that front could stall out overnight over the valley, the lower valley or the coast. We'll keep in a good chance for showers for tonight as well as for tomorrow. Future track very optimistic on showers continuing for tomorrow, both in the morning as well as in the afternoon into tomorrow night in terms of a couple of waves. But by Monday, things start to improve. We'll have decreasing clouds by Monday afternoon. It should be warmer, even warmer for Tuesday and Wednesday, and then a second stronger front arrives by next Wednesday late in the night. Winds out of the northeast later on tonight, 12 to 19. Not small craft advisory in effect until 9 o'clock this evening. Watch out for showers and thunderstorms. So tonight's forecast again, rain gear and sweaters. Good chance for showers and thunderstorms, 62 the magic number. Then for tomorrow, cloudy skies and chilly. We've put the high temperature 62 in the morning, and the arrow means those temperatures will fall into the afternoon into the upper 50s. 70% chance of some showers. Here's that seven day forecast. It's warmer Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but look at Thursday behind that second front. Only 53 for the high, down to 40 degrees by next Friday morning, 54 for Friday afternoon. That's your first four and five forecast. Let's